I got a new battery box that I want to show you guys, but it is too big for the overhead camera. <laughs> if I put the overhead camera on it, this is basically what I get. I can zoom out that much. Okay. So it's got these 75 amp power poles on the top of it. And it's got two ports, two other ports on the top of it. This is a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter style port. This is USB. There's one USB 3.0 quick point, quick charge for a USB A, and there's one USB C connector right there. And then there's the meter. That's pretty cool. And you can't really see the meter because it's uh, there's a switch here that turns a meter turns everything off and on, and it's too bright in here to see that. So I'm gonna take this thing outside and let you guys get a better look at it. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a secret word to put in the comments so that I know you watched the end. I got a question for you, so stay tuned. I've been wanting for some time to get a box that will fit my 50 amp hour battery I have from Gigaparts. One of their, they, they have three batteries, a 12, a 24, and a 50. And that 50 amp hour battery is awesome. I recently gave it to Mike K at MRD to let me let him try to find a box that would fit it to build one of his style battery boxes, which are going to be cream of the crop, top of the line battery boxes. Comes with everything you need, no maintenance, just plug it in and go. Uh, we'll talk about that in a later episode, but this box is actually from Amazon. I'll put a, a link to everything in the description below. That's the front of it there. Auto Dunk is the name. Auto Dunk. I don't know where that comes from, but that's what it is. <laughs> Auto dunk, auto dunk here. It's got positive and negative terminals on it here. They came with this covering over them. It's like a, it's like an insulation type thing, kind of like insulation over wiring. And they came that way. I did not put that on. So that's kind of neat there. And behind them, they have a rubberized grommet, which makes, you know, covers up the terminal. And for safety reasons, you don't want things falling on top of it since these are exposed on the outside of the box. You don't want things falling on top of them. If you put this in the back seat or the back of your truck and you drop like a screwdriver on top of one, it could arc over here, destroy the battery, throw your screwdriver way across the vehicle and damage something or hurt somebody. So these are all nice and insulated and covered up. So that's really good. Here's the switch I was telling you about. Okay, so the way it's fluctuate, the way it's kind of like flashing is the camera frame rate right now. That's not the meter. The meter's nice and solid. It's got these colors around it, and then it says 13.7 volts in the front there. This lights up. This whole thing lights up. That doesn't light. That part, I probably will, I'm probably going to change that with something new I got. So, I might talk about that here more in a second. But it's got one USB port, one USB, one USB A, quick charge 3.0 port, one USB C port, okay, and then it's got these two 75 amp power poles now these are great and i recently got one of these and i picked this up actually at hro this is a powerworks version of a 75 amp anderson plug to a 45 amp anderson plug now some of you say well you can build that yes you can you can totally build that it'd be easy to build i do not have in my inventory any power poles this size power poles or the the casings or the inner pieces I don't have, I've never had a need for a power pole this size, so I don't have any in these inventory. I have a ton of these. I have bags full of these, uh, 30 and 45 amp both. I think I got some 15 amp too, I don't remember. But these are all, the 15, 30s, and 45s are all the same size, but these 75s are a different size that I do not have. So I just went and bought this cable the other day because I knew I was going to be doing this video and picking up this box. However, this doesn't, it, this, this will fit in here, like if I, like that, okay. But you have to separate these a little bit. So they make another one with this actual gray connector. And I've ordered some of those on Amazon with bare wires on the end, other end. So I'm just going to do a step down thing. Now what you could do with this is you could cut these off and put regular power poles on them. The thing I was talking about a minute ago was taking this out. I picked this up on Amazon. This is a dual Anderson power pole round modular plug that I'm going to replace this with. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to show you the inside of the box here in a minute. But these things, let me open this up. 
here's these things right here. Okay, so the PowerWorks ones are, you're paying for the name brand a little bit. They are higher, higher quality than some of your cheap Chinese ones, cheap Amazon ones that may not fit your power poles correctly. However, at the time when I bought this one on Amazon, I could not find any of these modular, round modular plugs with a dual power pole on them besides PowerWorks. There were several of them that were cheap, off-brand that you've never heard of with single red and single black on them, but none of them with double red and double black on them. So at the time of this recording, I picked these up because they are the only thing available. So if you look at the Gigaparts box, which I'm going to bring out here in a minute, you will see that it has three of those things. and Or no, two of them. Two of them. So the fact that people say that, well, you could build yours for cheaper than that, that's not always true because you haven't considered the real cost of everything. So anyway, that's the only thing on the outside of the box is these here. There's, You can see there's no power plugs on it at all. It's got USB A and C. It's got that. So I'm going to put power poles there. And then it's got these. Well, they've got 75 amp power poles, I should say. Now, this is this strap comes with it. It comes unstrapped, so I strapped it down. And then it's got this nifty buckle in it. So you can open it up and easily access the battery on the inside and I've got my red Odo battery in here did a video about this a while back so far it's been working out very well but I'm gonna take this off so that I can show you guys the underside of the battery box so the ring terminals that this is how the this is how the top comes just just like this set that up there so the ring terminal connectors that come with this fit they're actually a little bit too big for the red Odo and the gigaparts battery but they fit on there just fine no problems with tightening those down and those go to your external poles, external posts that are on the outside of the box here. And that's some pretty thick gauge wire. I'd say that's probably six or eight gauge wire right there. And then the 245, or I'm sorry, the 275 amps are wired with this. That's probably about 10 gauge wire that goes to them. Well, the, the black is, the negative is 10 gauge. This is probably about, that's probably about eight gauge wire right there. So the positive is eight gauge wire. And those are your... 75 amp power poles on top and these are 30 amp fuses so while those 75 amp power poles are great they're fused with a 30 amp circuit so i didn't that didn't really make much sense to me but that's how they did it and these fuses only go here they only protect this because they go directly from the positive side of the battery from the battery to here to the fuse circuit here and they don't intertwine with these at all. Now this switch, that's your switch. That's the USB, uh, the USB ports. That's the meter, and that's the cigarette lighter adapter. And they each have positive and negative terminals on them, of course. This looks like good 10 gauge wire right there, and that's all done up very nicely with insulated connectors over the blade connectors to make it somewhat, you know, water at least water resistant, if not completely waterproof. So that's where that is there. I keep everything. I keep some, some extra plugs and power pole connectors, everything, in these waterproof bags. I have four or five packs of these waterproof bags that I've got from Amazon. I love them. They're awesome. They roll up, and they're, they're in fact, you got to press the air out of them because you can tell they're airtight. Once you roll them up, they'll hold a lot of air unless you press it all out first. But these work great to put inside of the box here so that I can... So that just in case some water gets in there, it's not going to get inside of the bag, the waterproof bag. So all my connectors and adapters and whatnot and where, stuff where I keep things like this will all be nice and dry. But that's it there. That's what it looks like. And I want to show you, I, I'm going to show it to you sitting next to the Gigaparts box. Now we have both boxes here. Something else I mentioned, this box is big enough to hold almost a 100 amp hour battery. It's really big. When you put the 50 amp hour Red Odo in there, there's plenty of room for extra stuff. Now, it's too tall to put a tray on top of, and I think that's the reason Mike doesn't like it, because he likes to put his tray on top of his battery for the charge controller and several other things, so that makes sense. So the box is really kind of too tall for anything else in there, but it hold, but there's plenty of room on the on the, the side and the front here for extra stuff with that 50 amp hour battery. 50 amp hours is a lot of power, guys. If you're talking about taking stuff out for POTA and whatnot, it's going to last you forever. So, here's this, and here's this. Now, the time of this recording, I'll share links to everything below. This box is about $85 on Amazon, and this box is about $99 retail, but during the Black Friday, Christmas, and holiday season of 2022, they had this on sale for $20 off, and you can always save a 5% discount on this box with the coupon code of KC5HWB. Now... What I want to talk about here is the comments I've had on this box 
saying it's too expensive, I could build my own for that price. I think that that, I think that you're missing the point because I don't think you really can build your own for as cheap as they're selling this. Because if you consider, it's got these two Anderson plugs and two more Anderson plugs. It's got the quick charge 3.0 USB-A and the USB-C, two 2.4 amp slow charge USB-As, two more three uh, quick charge 3.0 USB-As right there. And plus this single port that's really meant for a solar charge controller, but it doesn't have that built into it. If you consider all of that, plus the terminals, the posts right here, and the switch that turns on, it's expensive to buy these. Like I said a minute ago, I couldn't find non-PowerWorks versions of these plugs with the dual reds and blacks in them. So, and Gigaparts is buying these in bulk, which of course gives you a, a less, uh, more of a discount, because they made 500 of these boxes on their first run. Now, this box is larger because I couldn't put my 50 amp hour inside of this box. You might say, well, why don't you just get another one of these boxes for your 50 amp hour? Well, because it's not, it's not big enough. So this box is larger, but it's almost the same price, and it doesn't have any of the standard power pole connectors that you and I are used to. It's got these that you'll either have to trade out, cut off and trade out, or get adapters for. And it'll work fine. No problem with that. But I just kind of find, but it's got less USB connections. And I don't really find any use, I don't find much use in these 12 volt cigarette lighter style adapters just because I don't have any need for them. That's why I'm going to change that one out. Now, if you need those, there's nothing wrong with that, but it depends on your individual need. So there it is, the two boxes that I'm using right now. I took both of these to the hunting lease last week, used both of them. I used this one to power my fridge overnight. Of course, it, it got down to in the 40s that night and I had my fridge set at 30. So the fridge did run, but this thing was at like, 95 percent in the morning it didn't the fridge didn't even bother it at all this one here i take into the deer stand with me to keep my phone charged my tablet charged and a couple other things i've got a, a qrp radio that i keep down there with me that sometimes i'll fire it up and see what's going on in the bands do some ft8 and that kind of thing but this box has been very i've had this for about two weeks now i really like it i like the way it's put together i like the options that it has but for the price this is a better buy unless you need a larger battery and then i suggest that one let me know what you think what battery box are you using what size battery do you have in it send me a link send me an email you can't put links in the comments on youtube i turn those off to prevent spam bots but you can email me hit me up on discord let me know what battery box you're using and what size battery you have in it what kind of ports do you want on top what kind of ports do you want on top because guess what Everybody wants something different. Some people like the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Some people like the bigger 75 amp hour power poles. Some people like multiple, multiple USB ports. That's great. Depends on your application. What do you think it should have? Put a comment below and use the code word today of ports. Ports. That's your code word today. So I know you watched at the end, 73.